been getting quite a few questions over the last couple of months and up to a year. A few of them have dev shown interest in where I get these desktop backgrounds on my computer. And they've said, well, every video there seems to be a new, really new background. And they just wondered, how can they get it for their machine? Well, it's, it's relatively simple and I'm just going to show you. I'm going to go to my search box and there it is. The program and app is called Dynamic Feed. Now, where do I get it? Well, you go to Microsoft Store. If Microsoft Store isn't your recent search, recent history, click on the search box at the top and type in Microsoft Store. I've got it, so I'm going to click it to open Microsoft Store. Wait a few seconds to it loads. On the top search box, type Dynamic Beam. And the icon in the app should be there, click it. Now because I have it installed, it shouldn't say get, it will say open. There's a brief description that I don't think really makes it very clear. Dynamic background and or lock screen picture with daily bang or windows spotlight pictures. One bang or windows spotlight picture or personal pictures. Everything's very clear, so we're just going to open it to show you. And here's my current background. My app, uh, you click it in the text, it says Miami, Florida. Loads the copyright and maybe the publisher of photo. We now open a new web browser window and as you can see a bit more information about Miami, Florida. So we close that and if you click show, you can show history for the past, I think it's seven days. I'm not 100% sure on that. As you can see, there's some really, truly really stunning images like this one from Yosemite National Park, California. Click back. Um, and Valley of the Moon in Chile. It's really quite impressive. This, yeah, it only goes back a couple of days. I'm afraid. Click back. It updates every 24 hours. So every 24 hours and whatever part of the world you're at, it should automatically update. And not only does it update the background in the sense of a desktop background, it also can update the theme, depending on the colours of that of that background. And I've been using it for the last year, I believe, and uh, every day I get a new image. Every morning, when I look at when I turn on my computer, always get a new image. It's great. Very helpful for the video. It's very helpful for the tutorial videos because it gives me fresh new visual contact and visual imagery for people to see. I've not had much luck with if you click the update button to it will not automatically update yet. Update cur coming in the next hour. I don't know if this is a bug or it's just on my end. I, it, it should technically do that. That's the only issue I have with it. Other than that it's worked really well. And that's it for this video. I hope you've you found this video helpful. It's a very basic video. Just wanted to get something out for you this week. And uh, it's a great visual presentation for anyone who wants to make their desktop computer a little more exciting visually. Thank you again for watching this video. If you've liked this or found this video helpful, please, if you could leave a like, hit the subscribe button, and maybe if you want to, turn on that notification bell. It's on if you want to. Want to make any comments about future ideas for videos? Any ideas you've got? Just leave them in the comments below and I'll have a look at them later. And uh, that's it for me for this video. And I hope you've found it informative or at least useful for you. Okay, thank you everyone for taking up to cover your time. Thank you very much. And I hope to see you in the next video. Take care of yourselves. See you later.